you know. Now, she was the strict matron who tried to keep the likes of Barbara Windsor and Kenneth Williams in line. Who was she? The carry-on actress Hattie Jakes, of course, widely loved in the series, but it's not perhaps widely known that she was born in Sandgate near Folkestone. It's a secret no more, though. As Claudia Sebasis explains, she's now earned a blue plaque. Patty Jakes's quintessential performance, which cemented the image of the no-nonsense matron with a gleam in her eye. Ah, matron, what can I do for you? I'm sorry to trouble you, Dr. Soper, but I've been thinking about this camping trip. She was born Josephine Edwina Jakes in this house in Sandgate in 1922. Blue trail plaque to us is very important. And clearly someone like Hattie is a, is a national treasure. But I believe she was only there for a couple of years and then she moved to another house in Sandgate. This afternoon, to celebrate both the new plaque and Hattie's life, the Sandgate Society threw a tea party. Howard Godfrey became friends with the producer of the Carry On films and got to know Hattie at cast parties. She was fun, she really was. She, I think she was always very much like she was on stage. Um, full of fun, always enjoyed life and as I say we really enjoyed um, meeting her in those days. Oh! Oh! Matron, this is the men's! Go away, Dr. Silver! Hattie Jakes appeared in 14 carry-on films from 1958 to 1974 and was close friends with her co-stars, particularly Joan Sims and Kenneth Williams. Oh, Dr. Silver, I must confess, I'm not an expert in these matters. But I thought she was a, a matron in about seven of the films, but in Carry On Cabin, which was her favourite, she came out in 1963, she was given a more romantic role, and this was her favourite film out of the whole series. Home again, home again, to buy a fat pig. She also had a long professional partnership with Eric Sykes and starred in his long-running sitcom in the 70s. This is the third plaque to commemorate Hattie Jake's life. The others are at her former homes in Earl's Court and Margate. Claudia Sebasis, BBC Southeast Today, Sandgate.